loved you so much. I asked you a question, Libby. Where's Allison? Sorry, I don't, I don't know. You've got the antidote? Yeah, that's right. It's right here. Oh, give it to me. I was gonna just hand it over to you if I took a head count. Yo, well, I'll see Allison isn't here. And you, you, you were supposed to be making sure she was safe. That was the deal. That's right. Look, maybe she went for a walk. Maybe she went looking for you. It's not like the first time she uh -huh. did that. And, and, and you're saying she, she just she just vanished. She just disappeared in, th in thin air, right? That's your story? Okay. I'm going to go over this again for you because you're not getting it. I heard a noise. I went outside to see what it was. And then just poof. Like in, in, a, in a puff of smoke. She, she just gone, right? You, you expect me to believe it's that? It's the truth, Rafe. Excuse me? What did you say? The, the truth? From you? Look, I don't like you. You don't like me, but I need that antidote. So it wouldn't be in my best interest to piss you off, would it? She's alive. Allison Barrington, she's still alive. And if you still want her, I know where she's hiding. You have already pissed me off. And you, you're not going to see a drop of this till you tell me what happened to Allison. The damn cave, Rafe. Where would we have stashed her? Come on, back off, Rafe. Caleb knows nothing about this. He had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with what? Allison leaving. Yeah? How would you know? I don't. I mean, Caleb had... had he, he wouldn't. He doesn't. But you would, right? That is ridiculous. No, I don't think it is. I think it's the only thing that makes sense. You turned Allison over, didn't you? Huh? Let me tell me. Didn't you? Come on, tell me! No. No, tell me this is all a big joke. You're not... You're not one of them, not you. So you've been alive all this time, huh? Figures. Oh my God, how did this happen? Well, let's see. I was at your memorial service, and if I recall correctly, I was a little bit upset you know, about you dying <laughs> and all. Uh, so I went for a little walk to calm myself down, and next thing you know, I'm waking up on a slab, only I'm not really dead. This is so a very touching. How could you do this? Isn't it? How could you do this to Jamal? I did this for you. This is your pre-wedding gift. What? I thought it'd be good for you to have someone you trusted in our camp. It would make the transition to our lifestyle easier. You're such a freak. You ruined Jamal's life just to get what you wanted? On the contrary. I made his life better. Not to mention longer. Now, I'll leave you two alone, and you can have a little chat. Okay. Okay, listen to me. We're gonna fight this, okay? We, we will. We can get through this. He thinks that Rafe can't find me, but he will. He's gonna find us and he's gonna rescue us, okay? I promise you. What makes you think that I want to be saved, Spunky? to help you. I mean, I feel stronger. I was feeling better, so I thought maybe... But this means my... My powers are gone. They don't work at all. They're gone, aren't they? You just need to rest. You just need, need to rest. You get better, you, and you'll get better. No. We have to try something else. Lucy. We can make experiment or do some more research or... Stop. Talk. 
Please. We both know it's gonna happen. Now, one day I'm gonna lose control. You would never hurt me. Hurt you? I almost took your life away. You didn't. You, you stopped in time. This time. But I have this hunger inside of me. I can't. No. I see it in your no. eyes. No. <laughs> it's always there. She knows. Don't you, Lynn? I said leave her alone. Hey, don't leave you. her alone! Yes, you're right. Joshua found out Allison's alive because of me, but it was all your fault. Excuse me? You forced fault? me to go to Joshua in the first place. If you would have just given me the antidote, nothing would have happened no, to Allison. No, I, knew, I knew you hated her, but I didn't know you just turned her over like that. Look, I didn't mean to. Joshua tricked me. Hold on. F first, it's my fault, and, and now Joshua tricked you. I'm sorry, your, your story is sort of losing its course here. It's the truth. When I went to Joshua for the antidote, he saw how desperate I was. Is that the truth? Yes. I mean, he tricked me into admitting Allison was alive, but it wasn't my fault. No. No, that's right. No, nothing ever is. I gotta get to Allison. Huh? Huh? You're taking Joshua on, his whole army? If I have to. Then let me help you. Right, right, because you've been so much help already. Now, don't be an idiot, Rafe. Just give me the antidote. Allow Olivia to restore me. I'll take Joshua on. And then you get Allison back. Brave Caleb surely help right now. I'll free Allison without your help. And then I might take out a vampire or two just for fun. Hey. It's a suicide mission, man, and you know it. Get out of my way. You give Caleb the antidote. Just like you planned. Don't punish Allison for my mistake. Help us. We'll help you. What have they done to you? Why won't you let me help you? It looks like you're the one that needs some help. No, I think we both need some help, so let's get out of here. No, you're not Come listening on. again. I'm here because I want to be. No, you don't. Look, Jamal, I'm on don't a winning team that. right now, okay? And you will be too once you stop fighting a it. A winning team? Yeah. Really? But can't... Joshua is a monster. You know that. Well, this monster is running things now. I know that you're really upset with me. I know that you're angry with me for lying about mm -hmm. being dead and all, but I had no choice. He wanted to make me his bride. I needed to disappear. I'm so right, sorry. Right, You know, your Slayer boyfriend was supposed to save the town with his Slayer special skills and everything. At what point did he just decide to only rescue you and leave us rest to be bad for you? Hmm? Sorry. I'm so sorry. This is all of my yeah, fault. Yeah, you your old hood. It's gone straight to hell. I know. And we kept fighting it and fighting it and fighting it over and over again. But seriously, what good did that ever do us? Hmm? Stop it. You're starting to sound like Jack. Well, maybe Jack was right. Maybe you and I have been the fools all along. Stop it. Listen to me. I know that you are better than I'm this. I'm listening. I believe in you. You have good in your heart. I've always believed in you, and I always will. I know <laughs> that you would never spend all of eternity doing Joshua's dirty work. The Jamal you know is dead. But this one... This one's ready to rock and roll, baby. Hey, you know what? If you can't beat him, join him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop it. I know you way better than this, and I know this is not your heart. You sure about that, Spunky? No, I'm not going to let you just walk out of here and drive off into the night. I'm leaving this house. I have to. <laughs> we were going to talk about this. You have to at least stand there talk and talk to what? me. Talk about what? I nearly turned you into the living dead, and... It's only by the grace of God that I stopped myself. You stopped yourself. You, you stopped yourself because you're, you have control. You still have control? No. I don't have control. I haven't for a long time. What? What? It's not a sudden thing. It's just been getting worse. I 
exactly dinner conversation is. You know, I, I... I really thought that I was stronger than this. I really thought that I could fight this, that I could be the one vampire who didn't have to feed on anybody. I... I would have done anything just to... just have one more day with you. It's not fair. I don't, I'm, I don't just let you go. I do not, I don't ex accept this. That's, no. Can't wish it away, Lucy. That is why I asked Rafe to kill me. So I don't want you watching me turn into a, mo a monster in some kind of... You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not a monster. You will never be... A monster. You are the man that I love. And I love you. That's why I have to go. Say something right. Is there something I can say? It has to be. It's funny, isn't it? I promised that I would take care of you always. And now the only way I can do that is by leaving you. Come on, please. Ow! You wouldn't do this to me. You wouldn't hurt me. We always just have each other's back. Different time, Ow. different man. Ow. Ow. Get off of me! I Get off! Friendly reunion. Get off! Get Back off, Jermaine. Back off. Oh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, my dear. Sometimes our new recruits just cannot wait to try out their wings. Bad. Okay, Jamal. I'll take it from here. Are you okay, my dear? I don't want one tiny little frown line to mar that beauty. I want you perfect for our wedding. No, I would rather be dead, thanks. Well, you've already tried that, but... Ah, uh, that was a trick, wasn't it? Very clever. Not a very flattering picture, though. How did you find out? How? Even husbands are entitled to have their secrets. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why are you turning every single person that I love and care about into one of you? My Nana and Jamal. I don't get it. Because I can. And because I want to. You are having a teensy-weensy case of jitters, aren't you? That's normal for a blushing bride. But very soon, you'll get used to your new status. I wouldn't hold your breath. And when you do, you'll be very grateful to me because you'll be surrounded by friends and family. Oh, my God. I will never accept any of this. Oh, here we go again. Do you know, if Joshua had a dime for every time he hears that, it'll be a cold day in hell, he'd be a very rich demon indeed. The fact is, Allison, becoming one of us is a privilege. You may think it's a privilege, Frank, but I happen to like being a human being. I'm old-fashioned, I guess. Allison, you're on the verge of a brand new world. One that's full of incredible sights and wonders. Wonders that are beyond your wildest you're dream. such a freak. I swear to God. You're not taking me to Disneyland there, Joshua. I know what you want to do to me. And I'll have you know, you may be able to turn me, but you will never have me. It's that fighting spirit that I love. It's so refreshing. I can't wait. Actually, I can wait. Because I'm a very patient man. And also, I have all the time in the world. I can wait for you for the rest of eternity. Ladies. Please take my fiance away and prepare her for paradise. Get off of me. Get off me. Mom! You got to help me. What are you looking at me for? What are you doing? Huh? What, is, is this supposed to frighten me? Give us the antidote. Yeah, well, maybe I'll think about that when I get Allison back, all right? Hey. He hasn't turned her. Really? How do you know that? I know Joshua. 
It's too ordinary. It's not his style. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the insight. No, you're not listening. I can help you. No. I'm not like this. Here's the deal. From now on, I fly so Get to me. Get it to me! <laughs> Damn you, Rafe! Look at what you've done. Let me have it. What? The thing you're hiding behind your back looks a lot like my jacket. I don't have anything behind my back. It's not gonna fit you, Lucy. I just thought, you know, maybe I had something that you forgot that you had to come back for, then you would... Worth a try. So, you're, uh, where are you going to go? Are you going to go back to the loft, of course? Uh, just if I need to call you or get a hold of you in any way. I, uh, I'll, I'm going to put a call into Ramsey and uh, Karen. You know, they, they know your condition, and uh, I've... Uh... <sighs> it's better this way, you know that. You keep saying that. I n know that I'm supposed to try to get that through my thick head. It's just I'm having a lot of trouble getting it. So much I want to say to you. But I think you already know. What I know is I'm not going to get to see your face first thing in the morning. <laughs> and I know I won't get to hear your key coming in the door after it's been so long. It seems like so long during the day when I haven't seen you the whole day. And I, and I know I'm not going to get to hear that. What is that you do in the shower? You know, you, you think you're singing and it's, I don't know, it's weird. I, I'm, it's... I also know that I'm not going to be able to just reach out and touch you like that whenever I want. <sighs> Ian! I will always love you. love you more. <gasps> it's all gone. It's all gone. Let Thanks go. to Reeves. Let this it is go. not Reeves fault. You're not exactly innocent. So what? I would do anything to help you, even if it meant turning Allison into the devil himself. Rafe was wrong to hide the antidote from us. Caleb, he's had it all along. He's, he's been stringing us along this you whole time. You ruined everything by going to Joshua. I did it for us. I was handling this. And you threw it all away because of your hatred for Allison. There you go again, defending sweet Allie. We're fighting for our lives here. Yeah, I know that. Do you? I don't think you have a clue to what the damage you've done. Too late. Stop it! Get off of me! You're a runaway freaks! Ah, oh, there's that wonderful spirit. Perhaps not quite so endearing this time, but unique nonetheless. I hope you like your new home. I hope you die. Been there? Done that? You know you're gonna have to drag me down the aisle kicking and screaming. Oh, I must remember to find appropriate music. I understand this will be a little overwhelming for you at first, but I have no doubt you will get used to it. Is this really what you want, Joshua? Do you really want a woman who was repulsed by you? Your resistance is temporary. But the love that we share, that will last forever. I have that kind of love. I have that with Rafe. That was in the past. I have such big plans for you, Alice. Welcome. Welcome to your new home. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Poor Charles. Desire. On the next Poor Charles. You've changed. You're becoming one of them. Everything that I ever dreamed about is about to come true. 
to tell me where Joshua is now. I swear to God, I'll kill all of you. Get a daily dose of Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway on SoapNet. Tune in for Soap Talk weekdays at 9 a.m., 7 p.m., and again at 12 midnight. Three chances to catch the latest soap scoop and more. Soap Talk. It's that talk show only SoapNet can do.